Hi everybody. How y'all doing? I'm doing good. I'm gonna do a 11 by 14. Play as a drum, ready to go. Okay, let me make sure we're in view here though. That's the thing, this is awful long, so it's gonna be a little short. I'll turn it this way. There we go. And I checked my camera, check. Checked my air conditioner, check. <laughs> Got my light, check. My overhead light, check. We're good to go. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to use some of my uh, colors that my daughter had helped me pick out. I'm going to use black which I am using the Craft Smart Onyx, which is a metallic black, multi-purpose premium metallic acrylic paint. So they're all the same. I was going to use some of my Artist Loft copper and bronze, but I'm like, yeah, I've got all of this in metallic, so I might as well use every color metallic. Bronze. Same thing, multi-surface premium ultra bright metallic. Espresso. Same thing, metallic. Okay. Emerald. I think that'll look pretty with it. Metallic. Oh no, this one's matte. Metallic. Oh, I didn't realize that. Huh. Don't make a difference. And then we have the copper. Metallic. Ultra bright. Okay. So I've got them in order. I have them in order. And here we go. I'm going to just do a dirty pour. Let me make sure this cup is not a water cup. So do not want any sprinkles of water. And I just mixed these paints, except for the espresso. I had some of that left over. So that should be two parts flow trial, one part paint, and almost one part water. But everything else is the same. Two parts flow trial, one part paint. And enough water to bring it to a, honey, a warm honey consistency. So here we go. This is a nice bigger one, so it's almost about two 8 by 10s there. Well, let's hope I don't over pour in the gold like I have been lately. And yeah, I'm going to layer these. But I'm not going to pour them all. I'm going to try to do it like this. this is, I'll show you what I mean. And this is the copper, right? Yeah. Copper. Emerald. Which is beautiful. The only one I think I might run short on is the espresso. And that's not good. Bronze. Black. I have to go all the way up to this top line, which I measured is five ounces I need for an 11 by 14. However, I'm doing about five and a half ounces. I'll do a little bit extra because I do not want to run short here. I'm going to be pretty generous on this one. Yeah, I'm going to be real generous with that. And the rest of this, seriously, even going to lay it down and scrape it with my finger. I 
We're just about there. And I think that's good. They should look pretty together. Just hope I have enough of that green. Maybe I should add that. Or emeralds. So yeah, today's been a pretty good day. Tomorrow's 4th of July. I don't plan on doing anything besides staying home relaxing. I don't know about you guys, but here in Arizona, I mentioned this before, you go out and it's hot usually. Even at 9 o'clock at night, because that's what time the fireworks usually start. And then, then there's a big long line to get out of wherever you're at, you know. <laughs> so, I've had my share of that here in Arizona. I'm just not going to do it. Plus, we can kind of see them from our house a little bit, too. So, okay, here goes. Let's see what I'm going to do here. I was going to go like this. Then I kind of decided I'm going to go a little bit angled and a little bit angled. Let's see what happens. This is a different design than I usually do. Oh, I don't have no silicone in here. <clears throat> I've got three paintings this week with silicone. That's enough. <laughs> For now. So I do them like once a week. So but it looks like I might have some cells here. So my consistency. I really worked hard on my consistency today to make sure they were all the same. The only one I was leery about was the espresso because that was pre-mixed. I don't know what that one. It could have been one part Floetrol. It don't matter. So yeah. Um, I remember when I was a kid I used to go on a roof. Back in the good old days. I don't know. Some people still do it to this day. I see them. Jeez, with my weight, I'd be too scared to be up on my roof. <laughs> that looks pretty. I hope this one turns out, because this is a nice size canvas. Hold it up there. Oh, man, that's beautiful. Oh, man. I sure hope it don't clump up in one big color, guys. Oh my gosh, it's going to work out perfect. And my consistency was perfect. I hate saying that because it sounds like I'm bragging. But it was not too thick. I finally got that artist loft down too. You know, I figured the one part water... It's a little bit thick, so I have to add just a little bit more water. 
so I've been doing two parts flow trial, one part paint, and one part water, but just a little bit more than one part water. And here I am cleaning up my stuff because I just changed my nice little thing. I don't want to get dirty, but I love it. I love, 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 love. Pretty. Look at how it always does it. Little dashes in there. Ain't that funny? Yeah, I can fix that though. And I'm going to. Because eh, I don't like that. I'm sure you guys agree. So what we do is just take it and run it along with the stick. That's it. Let me see where else. Everywhere else is is okay. Let's look at the other ones. Those are not bad. They're not just all dash, you know. Mm, no, that's acceptable. That's good. Just that one needed to be a little together there. Okay. This is nice. I like it. Oh, man. I got some pretty cells in there, too. Yeah, it just goes to show you, you don't need the silicone all the time to get some pretty cells. And these are pretty. So let me fire that up here. And it's a successful pour. Yeah, I like those Craft Smart metallics. Always liked them a lot. I like any Craft Smart, except for the black now. I realize that black is just not black enough. Now this is the Onyx Craft Smart black. Metallic black. So it's blacker. Let me see. Anywhere else I need to like maybe just join this a little. Um those are okay. Yeah, that's good. No, that's good enough. Okay. Let me go ahead and swirl it just a tab so that what I just did kind of mixes a little. And we're good. Okay. Look at this pretty thing. This is beautiful. Big old cells in there. I like that little bit right in the middle. It's even selling up right there. Let me touch up my sides. Yes, Tanner. No, I'm not going to pause it. It's not important. If it's an emergency, I'll pause it. My nose is bleeding. Yeah, right. He always comes in here and has to tell me to pause it. And I'll pause it, and it'll be something really <laughs> silly. Like he can't wait. <laughs> Just real curious what it was, because I'll bet you it was something real silly. 
All right, so there we go. It's a beaut. It's a beautiful one. Very pretty. I'm very happy with it. I always know right away. It doesn't have that big, huge gold in the middle. And this is copper right in the middle. So this is very pretty. We've got our emerald that's standing out. And we've got our copper. Definitely. Or, I mean our bronze, our copper. And then we have the um, espresso. And the black, of course. Black's weird this time, though, but kind of hidden. It's like, where'd all that black go, you know? You wonder. It's underneath where it's mixed with stuff. But, yeah, it's underneath. But there's just these little traces of black, which is actually really cool. So, let's take a look at it again. That's the center. And you're wondering, anybody new, if it looks lumpy, bumpy, it's not. That is how emer uh, metallic looks when it's wet. Always looks like little mountains, like all this here. Like 3D in a way. Look at that area. You would think for sure that's all lumpy. But it's not. Well, I like this one. Real pleased that I've got some cells in there too. Not a whole bunch. Just enough to give it some character. And I'm not going to have to clean this one. Makes me real happy. Let me see what it looks like this way. Let's see which way I like it better. I think I like it this way better. <laughs> yeah, it's all good either way, really. Yeah, I think I like it this way. Okay. Let me see if I can get that right in the camera. I think I did. Move these back, and that's it. I always just want to make sure I have it centered. Oops, sorry, Ruby. I hope that paint didn't fall off. Hold on, guys. Emergency here. I just cleaned up my paint station here. And, yeah, it just splattered all over the ground. But that's okay, because I have a wool thing on my floor. This is how I can always tell there. Oh, that just barely makes it in the picture. Ain't that something? Okay, so you have a full view of it. I think it's pretty, guys. Let me know what you think, okay? I really do want to know. You know what? I love it. <laughs> this one is just beautiful. It's starting to just continue to sell up. Kind of hard to see with the camera because metallic is tricky. Once that thing dries, oh yeah, put that gloss on there, that's going to be a beautiful picture. It already is a beautiful picture, but. Alrighty then, I will talk to you guys later. Thank you for watching. And um, if I don't talk to you by tomorrow, you have a very good 4th of July. Or an evening before the 4th of July. And I'll, I'll see you tomorrow. I was actually thinking about doing a red, white, and blue pour tomorrow. Um, 
I have seen some people do the flag with poor painting, but uh, yeah, I think I would just like to do a regular red, white, and blue pour, you know, not a flip cup or anything, just a pour like I just did. Something with a little design here and there, or maybe even a puddle pour. So we'll see. So again, I just want to thank you for watching. You guys stay awesome, and I will catch you later. Bye-bye, guys.